and another Sunday build. What's up, everybody? This is Brian Holiday. I got another set. This is the Aston Martin DB5 for Bond, James Bond. Uh, the set number is 76911, and it has about 300 pieces, 298. But knowing Lego, they probably have a few extra little pieces. So there's probably about 300 in here. So I'm looking forward to this build. The last video I did was a couple weeks ago. So, you know, it's more of a space issue now than anything. Uh, ideally, I will be selling off some of my Transformers to make room for more Lego sets. And I know that sounds crazy. If you've known me for most of my life, you know that Transformers has always been my favorite. But building Lego is really fun. And because I'm running out of room very quickly, I kind of have to make some decisions. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of the big boys up top. And there's definitely like my Optimus Prime shelf right here that I'm not selling anything. My Hot Rod shelf, not selling anything. But there's a bunch of these guys like, you know, these guys here. No offense to them, but... I don't think they make the cut. <laughs> uh, so we'll see. And then there's two glass displays full of Transformers here in front of me that also I got to make a list. So if you guys, hey, follow me on, on socials, at Brian Holiday on all socials. Brian Holiday, B-R-I-A-N-H-O-L-I-D-A-E. And uh, you'll be made aware when I start selling off some of my collection so I can make room for more Lego. I didn't realize I was going to love Lego this much when I was a kid, but here we are. So I'm going to start the build, and like last time, you guys are just going to have a sped-up version with a bunch of great music. I don't know if I'm going to put lo-fi on this one. This one, I'm, I'm almost thinking I put, like, epic orchestral music because, you know, it's James Bond. But, you know, we'll see. So we're going to switch it over so you guys can see it. And then this is the set. I'm still not used to the placement. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Look at that butte. God, I'm so awkward with this placement. I keep forgetting my angles. Oh, God. And then this guy's like, there you go. So, yeah. There you go. So, let's begin. Thank you. 
like that, we are done, folks. So that is another one for the books. 76911. The set is finished. I'm going to pop myself back onto the main screen for you folks. So that's the set. This is the James Bond DB5 Aston Martin. I like the detail. I've recently gotten sets with that had a little bit of, uh, had the painted, painted bricks. So this one has the painted bricks on the front. I wouldn't have minded painted bricks on the side. Only because if you're going to do painted bricks, why not just give us those pieces? Because you gave us painted bricks for the lights at the back, the front, the grill on the front. I feel like you might as well have given us painted bricks for these one, two, three, four pieces. Five, maybe. It's a little weird to me to have a few painted bricks and then some not painted bricks. But ultimately, a nice set. I kind of like it. Uh, you know, I've, I've been a James Bond, James Bond fan since I was a kid. So, you know, and I like the idea that you can do a convertible. I don't know how realistic that is. I do enjoy that it has the back seat. I don't feel like a lot of the other sets have back seats. I feel like they kind of just focus on the cool front seat driving, but this is kind of, this is a nice look. So it took a little over an hour. The video is going to be a little longer because I kept having to pause and stuff. I had a few things I had to, to do, so it's not a straight run through, but yeah, that's it, folks. It is done. It's a nice looking set. Got the double plates, the multiple different plates that are available. I'll actually switch back so you can see those. You have a bunch of different plates for the Aston Martin. And because it's a British vehicle, you have the front and back plates. Unlike the Americans, unlike the Yanks. Across the pond, they don't make you put it on the front. Actually, I feel like that's only in Montreal. Because now that I think about it, in New York, you have to have your plates in the front and the back. And that's it. I had fun. Again, something that started out with me just wanting to test out my wireless newer mics worked out well. Because I get to test out the mic and build Lego sets. I have a lot of fun doing these. And, uh... I'll probably have some more. So I think this is what my third. And I try to do them every two weeks because that's when I have the weekend to do it. So, you know, hopefully I'll get to do another one sometime soon and you guys will get to enjoy that one. It's likely going to be a car again because those are the only things I have space for right now. I have made quite a mess. For myself with all these different sets that I've purchased recently. I actually had to put up shelving here recently that I that is already full. Completely full. I, I have no room. Uh, once again, I am likely going to have to sell some of my Transformers. Anyways, I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and enjoy yourselves. Peace.